Okay, so today's tomato review is going to be on this tomato right here, and this is called the pineapple tomato. I've been growing this tomato probably for about six years, but I haven't grown it every year for six years. So I, I grew it my first time six years ago, came out pretty good. I liked the tomato, and then I skipped a couple of years. I grew it again a couple of years later. It did pretty good, but I didn't care for it that much. And here we are today. So this is like my third time growing it within six years. So it's a pretty good tomato to tell you the truth from what I remember. But there are years where you may not get this tomato to taste as good. And again, a lot of that is environmentally caused because of too much water, not enough lime in the soil, too much heat, too much humidity, too much light, not enough light. It could be anything. It could be diseases actually cause your tomatoes to get really ranky tasting. So anyway, this is it. Let me show you the tomato. And that is just a beautiful tomato. This tomato is probably about a pound, maybe a pound and a quarter, this particular one. It's got some weight on it, this one. This is a meaty tomato. This one's actually going to be used on a hamburger. I'm going to make a hamburger, I'm going to slice that, and I'm going to put it on that hamburger. In fact, I might not even use bread. I might slice this tomato in two and just put the hamburger right in the middle and eat it like that. It's just a gorgeous tomato. It reminds me a lot of the Kellogg's breakfast tomato, but as you can see, try to get you a good lighting here. You can see the bottom, the blushing on the bottom. See all that blushing? Beautiful tomato. Nice and light orange on the top like that. And it's got all these ribs and fluted ribs and stuff on there. It's just a gorgeous looking tomato. So, yeah, I mean, that thing's, this thing's got some weight. I'm kind of happy with that this year. Normally when I get tomatoes off the pineapple tomato, they're usually only like this, you know, a little bit ribby and kind of round and not too much bigger than what you see here. So this is probably an average size for the tomato. And I'll show you what the inside looks like. As you can see, there's a little bit of red blushing on the inside. And some detachment from the seeds on the, on the rind, that tells me that the flower didn't pollinate correctly. So it didn't get fully pollinated, and that's why you get sometimes detachment on the side. But it doesn't mean tomato is bad, it just it didn't fully get pollinated. So sometimes that happens. But as you can see, that is just a gorgeous looking... Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful on the inside. Here's the other side. Just a beautiful, beautiful tomato. If we look at this one, like I say, this is probably about the average size for the tomato. So, it did get some cracking. We've been getting a lot of rain. Nothing you can do about that when you go outdoors, and uh, when you get that kind of rain, you're going to get cracking on your tomatoes. I'm actually surprised this one here didn't crack, but this one did get some cracking. So it's going to happen, guys. You know, it's just part of the nature of the beast when you grow tomatoes. So let's, uh, let's cut a slice off of this. And let's give that a go. Look at that nice little piece wedge there. You put a little salt on that, and this thing would be absolutely delicious. So let's give that a go. It's not bad, actually. It tastes pretty good. It has a kind of a strange, almost like fruity kind of a flavor to it. But let's go over the... Um, oh, you know what I forgot to do? Do my bricks test. I always sometimes forget this. I really don't like doing these reviews without this now because that gives you an idea on how much sugar this thing produces. So this is right at five. So that's a good sign for a big tomato. Big tomatoes, generally tomatoes this size, on the bricks meter, if you see an eight on it, you know that's going to be a really sweet tomato. Usually small tomatoes, the numbers are much higher because the tomato is really compact and Cherry tomatoes really do put a lot more sugar into the tomato. But for a big tomato, between 5 and 8 is pretty good. If you're seeing a, a 9 or a 10, man, that's a very, very sweet tomato. So let me get another bite and try it. Let's go over the texture, and then we'll go over the flavor. 
let's get that texture first because the texture feels pretty good actually I like the texture it kind of has a chewiness to it okay the texture is it's got a nice chewiness almost like a gummy bear type chewy but not that hard is gummy gummy bears are really hard but it's chewy like you can chew this tomato it doesn't literally turn into liquid in your mouth and it has a nice chewable effect it, it also feels very pleasant to the palate as far as chewing it and the smoothness of it that whole texture experience is nice skins might be a little bit on the tougher side but they did chew up pretty good these tomatoes have been ripening now for a couple of weeks so it, when I let them ripen that much, uh, a lot of times the skins will get even tougher because the inside of the tomato is really getting soft. So the skins are tough and the flesh is soft. But this is a very, very nice tomato. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the flavor of the tomato. So the flavor of the tomato, it's, a, it's mild in tomato flavor. It's not very strong and overwhelming. It's a mild tomato flavor. As far as acidity and sugar, let me get that right now. Okay, so the acidity and the sugar are very well balanced, but they're low. So if I was to go acid-wise, I'd say probably about 18 to 20% on the acidity. Sugar would probably be about 20, maybe 21 on the sugary. In between that is just all water and flavor. The aftertaste that hits you in the back of the tongue after you eat it is really nice. It's very smooth and subtle. And it kind of just hangs around there on the back of your tongue for, for a little bit. And it's very pleasant. It's a very pleasant aftertaste. It's very smooth. No funky overtones or undertones or anything. It's just very smooth. Very great delivery as far as that flavor. It's watery. I did mention that. It is kind of on the watery side. But it's a very low flavored tomato as opposed to being very rich in flavor. Like very acidy and very sweet and then heavy tang flavor this is a very mild tomato so if you're not a tomato you know fanatic like most of us who watch my tomato reviews i'm sure most of you guys are tomato freaks like me there are people who don't really care for tomatoes too much but they do like to eat certain kinds of tomatoes maybe not too not too much hard on the skin maybe a little bit less on the tomato flavor maybe this and then this would be a tomato for you if you're not a big fan of tomatoes but you do like to eat them once in a while this would definitely be a tomato for you to give it a try it's a very mild very delicious flavored tomato i am very impressed with this tomato you probably could bring the sweetness up a little if you just add a little bit more lime to the soil i did not add any lime to my soil so this tomato is just raw flavor grown right from the soil and that's it. There's no lime or anything to it. Look at that inside. Uh, isn't that nice? What a gorgeous looking tomato. The, the fact that it's a mild flavored tomato is really good. I really like that. It's not overwhelming in any way. I could actually eat quite a few of these tomatoes. See, when tomatoes have a strong flavor, you can only eat like one or two and you're like, all right, that's enough. I had enough for now. I'll have one later or something. Not with this tomato. This tomato is nice and light in flavor and you can keep munching these down. You're not going to get overwhelmed with that tomato flavor. It's just you're going to be able to keep putting them away. And that's a good thing if you're somebody who wants or has a lot of tomatoes and you need to eat them up. Uh, you definitely want your family to be eating them as well as you. So you want to grow a tomato that everybody's going to want to munch a lot of them on. And this is definitely a highly recommended variety. I'm very pleased with this tomato. I'm probably going to be growing this again next year. And I'm going to try to grow it in a, either in a pail or I'm going to grow it in a different part of the yard with more lime and see if that sweetness will come up a little. But I'm happy with it just the way it is. And uh, I'm very, very pleased with the tomato. So... That's it. That's just a quick tomato review for the pineapple tomato. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys.